Welcome back. We're here for map number two. You got Fi, you got Laz, you got Mirage, and now we got a pistol round. What's what's there? What is there not to enjoy? Now, as admittedly, I do have a pretty high opinion of myself when it comes down to that. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this one. <laughs> it's gonna be the Palace Pop. They're gonna leap out into firebox. Pug spots them all in. Hey, we're gonna start this one. This one, map and Mirage off with a lovely, lovely A post plant with everyone inside a CT spawn. This is guaranteed to be a bloodbath, so don't take your eyes off of this one. Let's just jump right into it. Pug, initial frag not quite coming through. Join together with spec. And as the smokes fade, maybe they can get more angles onto the site. Grape in a very vulnerable position, and spec is gonna drop him with a fantastic double headshot. Dangerous fighting out from Firebox side and infinite. He has eyes on the bomb though. He can probably spam it down or maybe not. No, yes, he can. Defuse denied. And just switcher being ran down. He'll find the first headshot, but there's no time on this bomb. There's no time for this retake. It's brazen with the pistol. Well, we talked a lot about this in the pre show. And now that we're on the pick here, this is going to be brazen's map pick. And it's an 80% win rate they have on this map. And I mean, that's a high number in comparison to Davenport with a big old zero. You know, you zero a thousand percent. A, a thousand percent would be also pretty high. That's also of, true. That it, yeah, well. Why don't people have a thousand percent win rates on their maps? I, I don't know. That's a good point. But you know, 80 is pretty high. 80 is quite high. And, uh, I mean, that's a four and one record. The only loss that we've seen from Brazen is actually against the Timberman. That actually was back for uh, EGL, and that was a 1916 yeah. loss, so that was even a close game. Yeah, and Timberman's like a really strong team here in, in the North American space. At least they've quickly proven themselves to be, so just some a little bit of logic here. Davenport University this is not one of their top maps in their pool, uh, and they're playing against on one of Brazen's best, no doubt. Good start, though, with a tag onto Polo. We'll limit that Mac 10s effectiveness if it tries to leap into a deagle. Maybe Kojimo can find another tag. Every scout tag is worth its weight in gold. These pistols can, will squeeze everything they get. Yeah, look at Brazen too. They're already just pushed up in the middle. Davenport a little bit spread apart. Double players towards B though. You got Kojimo just playing the back CT spawn, just kind of running back and forth, trying to figure out what to do. Just a lost dog looking to go home. Oh, look, these tags keep ringing out and Maybe Kojo, and I mean, another opportunity. They're coming up con this time around, though, and uh, he's, it's not going to be as easy as it once was. Potentially getting wrapped up in towards spawn, but a huge shot there from Swisher. Dropping Rizu. Polo even down low, and there it goes, Kojimo. The scouts are starting to chain together these shots. Korn finds a low HP infinite. That's an AK for retrieval. Grape trying to find some shots. Can't hit the cat jump, so this bomb's going to take forever to get in the B site. And now time is a real issue. Can they deny the cross of the question? Korn is not really going to fight for it, however. Dane is going to get up close and even has a smoke to toss into his market window and escort in the plane. Valuable time being... Lot, and then Dane will just find the headshot on the Swisher. It's now a 2v2. It gets more and more difficult here for Davenport, but Kojimo on the flank. Could mean everything. I wonder if his scope. I don't think it's been heard, but they lost Corn, and now the play is real. The jig's really up as it's only a tag onto Grape. No headshot. And what, what? there was definitely a chance there for Davenport, but it doesn't materialize. That was Davenport just winning that round, and, and the whole first iteration of that round i mean it was just really the fact that brazen was able to get themselves in that site and that's kind of where it fell apart right i mean like you said the tags were there brazen was wounded everybody was just low on hp but they were just a bit too passive on the uh the b site they i almost feel like they should have had a player in the site just try to deny any kind of plant or crossing in but corn was a little bit more hesitant on the play but nonetheless a pretty good uh force round that we saw from davin this is a little bit of time to kind of recap that map number one at the Gavin, Gavinport University. Davin. Davin. What are they, I feel chat's like been saying, what have they been saying? Like, Danky or Danks or something? You don't know what Dankies is? You don't know what that emote is? Do you not no, have... You saying, no. Oh, like, you don't... No, bro. Come on. Do you not have better TTV on? Laz, you're being exposed for what you are. Well, I'm just a... I'm just an older man that's just here to watch Counter-Strike. I'm... Take the... Take the... Just spam Dankies and Laz has no ideas what you guys are... What you guys are yeah. typing out. 
Okay, target rich environment there. <laughs> Nothing connecting, unfortunately, for Davenport. I mean, one bullet would probably do it for all of these players. That's for sure. Spec? Hey, okay. chance? Okay, I mean, there's the one. Uh, I'm not sure he's gonna be having much more impact in this round. Everyone spam dankies, and Laz has no idea what you guys are talking about. Feel violated. Do you know what Keck W is, Laz? I, I have to ask w. these questions no, now. No, 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 we're not. We're not doing this today. But yes, I do. Know. <laughs> we'll do this later. We'll do this later. Listen. All right. Nice try from Spec. A little, uh, little love tap. Nothing much. Big gun round, though. Big, big, big gun round that we have here. Kojimo should have enough for that op if he's going to go for it. He should. There we go. Do we see him play aggressive, though, Fi? Do we see, like, him, you know, maybe, like, towards Cat? Goes for the maybe the, the jump out a window? He hasn't been going for, like, the crazy openers, at least when we saw from Overpass. He was more just, you know, he's ready to post up and just try and take them as they go. We'll see for now. He is going to be in charge of window, and he actually does go for the drop inside a connector. Flashes are a little bit too much for him to handle, though. He ain't going to stick around. Just leaving Corn by himself towards B. Got Spec. Push back on the catwalk, not able to find much, and Brazen now. Kind of just grouped up towards mid. They had some really good control of this, but they need to find an opening. They don't even have the bomb control for them yet. They will grab it now. Missed their Ooh, bottom actually con rotating. They actually missed their bottom con smoke, which is actually going to force Davenport to concede all their control. Now, I do see Switcher actually holding for that jump up, so Dangerous will not be able to make a move. Or maybe he could just defy all odds and just hit the instant edge shot. I don't know. But they're gearing up for the B play. Two players here for Davenport. Two rifles in play, but a great time smoke. They're just going to run through it anyway, so they're just going to leap through Corn, holding the off angle. He'll get dropped by Grape. Spec now has to do everything on the site, and he gets traded out. Even Dane Joris didn't even go down. Swisher, though, wants to make a play again, just like he did in the pistol, but not able to find the immediate frag. This is going to call in the save. There's no way that we're going to see them go for that. There you go. Like you said, they have no utility, no control of this situation. Brazen now are going to be able to get themselves a 4-0. And they are definitely starting to uh, find a lot of the gaps here from Davenport's CT side. It can be difficult too. And I mean, like we said, Brazen, I mean, they are uh, pretty polished on this map. Taking down some of uh, NA's uh, good teams on this as well. For sure. Close games, like you said. Yeah, close games against some of the best. That's for darn sure. So now, up 4-0. At least they get the save. Like, I think Davenport, the biggest problem with that CT side of Overpass is they, they just lost all their guns a lot of those rounds. They never were able to... I think Kojo only had an op, say, four of those, four of those rounds that were played in that second half. Just wasn't able to hold on to it, so at least stays a threat. And Davenport even get a buy, buy up for this one, so it's not all bad for DU. They still have another go at it. Gonna be denied in middle. Kojimo's gonna have to switch up his position. And there we go. Back to this might even just be an A exec that we see from Brazen. We haven't seen that yet. Oh, Swisher gets a great amount of damage on nature to get the job done. It will not actually. Oh, a little bit of a hit in the pixel. The wrong pixel. Oh, there we go. That one lands true though. Right onto Grape. Now even Pug out from Firebox. It's a threat of an angle, but he actually gets spotted, and boy, is he in trouble. He goes down. Straight wall bangs there from Dangerous. A dink landed on an infinite, but no kill. But instead, it's Corn picking up the B-side lurk of Polo. Trying to maybe activate it on a big flank, and that is going to slow down this play for Brazen. With no real back in axis. Well, they're going to go in through the front door. See you later, Swisher, through the smoke. Kojo, though. Has a player pinned behind the default box, and he knows it. It's a low HP infinite, and a perfect flash, though, to get him out of dodge. Good calls coming in from Brazen, and they're going to walk in through Connector. 
They've gotten themselves, they've wrinkled their way out of this A-site. They can easily have this too. I mean, Corn, he's in the other side of CT spawn, just looking through the window. The small little, small little window, the, uh... Escape hole. Now the bomb's gonna get planted for A. The spam's coming in. Spec's trying to find it, but... Dangerous. Look at this. Oh, he's just oh creeping my through. God. Oh, he's so slithery. And it doesn't matter. He's just gonna pick up corn, and that's gonna be all the players going down. 3v3, and they just find no ground, despite the low HP. Despite the advantages that they had there. For Davenport, Brazen just sneak between the angles. A great flash to get infinite out of a... tricky position. Taking the space in towards Connector and finding themselves an avenue to get a bomb plant down. Good mid-round call there from Brazen. That'll get them their fifth. And Davenport, well, they didn't save any guns, so they're not having a true fighting chance in this one. But who's to say a couple deagles can't do some damage? Different positioning now from Davenport. Double players towards... Cad and ladder, so they're gonna group up together and grab a good molly. Obtain that mid control one more time. Oh, Kojimo. Oh, he's exposed. He's fully exposed now. Deagle's trying to make something happen. Swisher's gonna get taken out. It's just a matter of time. Fall into their doom? Yeah. I mean, some good calls coming out from Brazen so far. This game of Mirage. See, at least a one for one coming back. But they've, they're choosing the right site here. They're choosing hit towards B. And Spec is not going to quite be here in time. Corn, no deagle headshot landed. And that's going to probably call in the save. You know, we kind of forget to mention how strong of an IGL that Polo used to be on this map. Specifically, on the, during his one-tap days, he just was an absolute mad fragger on this map. So... Back during one tap and even the axolotls. That's uh, in these last two seasons, he's been a, such a strong IGL. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's recorded a near 40 bomb on this map before. Mm -hmm. Um, which he is, he is an incredible Mirage player. He knows how to call this map, and you can kind of start to see why Brazen begin to choose this map. Not only does it favor their individuals, they're just cozy, they're comfortable, and they're in the right mood. Polo will fall. I'm not sure Pug's actually going to get away with this one, and he won't. What an ang from Dane. Six zip to start this one off for Brazen. You say ang? Yeah, what an ang. What, a, what an ang? What an ang. Oh, oh, oh. it's weird. Never. Listen, I just haven't heard it, so I just okay. learning the slang. Okay, eh, fine. Just learning what you young kids say now, you know? I'm trying to figure it out. But a 6-0, uh, a and now it's going to be a pause coming through. And for Davenport, I mean, again, we're at a position now where, I mean, they're just trying to get anything on the board. They're just trying to get their first round, for goodness sakes. And, I mean, the op will be put it back into play. Nothing changed there. We're not seeing, like, double ops. We're not seeing just five straight rifles. So they're going to stay true to the same weapons. But we'll need to see something a little bit different. I mean, Brazen, they've been taking a lot of mid-control and... I'm now kind of wondering if Davenport want to contest for it. Do they want to play a little bit more aggressive? You know, we saw that earlier in the first map. They changed up their composition, but I feel like now's got to be the time, right? Davenport starting to fall behind a bit in this game. A gun around definitely a requirement. It's time to actually get their noses out and towards middle. And they'll basically call it completely clear. Some ground taken here for the Davenport side. But ground taken, well, it goes both ways here as Brazen looking to execute on towards his A-side spec. Searching for something to the smoke, but his gun runs dry. Pug, though, takes the initiative and finds Grape. That actually drops the bomb in the open. Pug looking to try and get a reswing, and his teammates trying to escort the play. Nothing giving just yet. Now they're going to try and re-hit. This time Polo resurfacing from underneath the underpass. It's a classic play. From Polo. Switcher doesn't even know a 100%. It's all about the timing. It's all about that duel and Switcher's actually going to get it. Now the 3v5 onto the A site. The best chance Davenport have had in a while. But it's starting to go oh so wrong. Damage dealt, and Dane Joris just single-handedly opens the site. 2v2. Spec 
Taking some flak down to half HP and Rizu snipes him down. One bullet apiece here for Spec in the 1v2. It's so, so messy. He needs to get it done and get it across the line. He himself at half HP. And he even lands Rizu on 1 HP. Not again for this guy. And the nade even touches down. Everyone is so low. 16 bullets. And Spec just couldn't convert the kill. And then Rizu's gonna swing out and lock it in. A 3v5 victory for Brazen. That is gonna sting. I think it's gonna burn, man. I mean, this is, you know, we just saw even Kojimo, he wasn't able to get that shot. It almost looked like he should have had that. Nine times out of ten, he'll land it, but something now affecting Davenport University. They just cannot seem to get any rhythm. And I'm wondering if, you know, maybe they're a little bit of a, a mental discomfort from the first map going the way it did. Realizing the position they're in, but if we know anything about Davenport University, they always fight to the bitter end. Oh, oh no, they've been spotted. Oh dear. Oh, they try to assemble a boost in towards underpass, but this is just getting tough right now for DU. I mean, I think they had a decent idea. They had a decent idea, but it has gone sorely wrong. Maybe Spec can turn it back a big duel one onto Polo. He's just individually been powering this team through these rounds, but still going to need more. And this might be it. Oh, Specs by himself. Oh, what a nice little, sick ooh. movement. Oh, we talk about KZ and surfing. Oh, he's already oh, up. Dang. They have to, they're just running through the smoke on him. He almost gets a triple kill on this pug. Can't quite put it up. It's Kojo. He spot no, he spots the cross, but he reveals his position. Now, Rizu knows. They know. Great. 34 HP just dancing around the site. But he does readjust for Rizu. Cannot find the double kill, though. With Grape on the trade, and it's 8-0 for Brazen. Davenport almost with a comeback round. Like I said, man, Davenport University, they are going to fight this thing right to the bitter end, and it came close. I mean, that was, I think, one of the second or third rounds that we've seen coming right down to the wire, but Brazen are going to keep on trucking, and they do now succeed winning this half. I mean, with the 8-0, I guess it'll be uh, how much more they're going to have that right now, Fi. But it's going to be the Deagles on the hands here for the University squad. With a FAMOS on Pug, and nope, never mind. Bye, Kojima. Okay. Spec is always delivering at least one in these rounds, though. Love to see him strike true. Meantime, a little bit of a tussle in towards A main. Switcher. Oh, oh. okay. That one's right from Estonia. <laughs> Rizu, good night, but the same goes for Pug. Goes both ways, and well, we're gonna need more of these deagles. We need more. More. Ooh, a palace push coming in here. So sure could find something if he gets his timing right. He could do some good work. They just but slunk past. Yeah, they just. Just creeped on through. They're making noise though. Maybe Swisher has heard that and he's gonna drop down. Drop down. Hey, hey, that's an hey, AWP. Thank you very much. Wait a minute. He Wait, could do this. He could be able to get a good kill. Now he's armed. And they're gonna cross out in the open and he hits the shot. Infinite though, so fast on the trade. Could not get back into cover. And it's corn. And it's infinite. My gosh. Just an instant headshot around the corner. It is 9-0 for Brazen right now. You know, we even talk about it, right? I mean, even Brazen, the two players combined, what was that, like 66 HP that they had combined? I mean, it's getting close. I mean, Davenport, they just seem to lose these opening duels, and then they're trying to recover from it, but we'll have to see if this is the round. There we go. Now we see the change in the inventory. Double Ops going to be in play now. Spec and Kojimo, they're going to both hold the big green. They want to try something different. Why not? What was work or what's uh, happening before isn't working, so let's uh, let's change the recipe. Maybe they can. And oh, you see, Spec trying to get in, but the smoke just obscuring and blooming right in his face. He wasn't able to find the kill. Is that they're just gonna solo entry in Dangerous here? Such a dangerous play. And Dangerous. Okay, he will go down. Corn jumping up on the van, and Dane was not prepared. Finally, some ground gain here for Davenport. They'll make it a 3v5, and 
The only remaining threat is just from the underpass. Infinite and Polo beginning their creep, but they're being watched by Switcher. Right down, no, oh my gosh, uh, it's supposed to be an off angle, but Infinite doesn't care. They're gonna turn this 3v5 around again. It's back down to the e even standings here, Laz. Somehow, someway, we're back to a three and three. Specs are gonna be close by, he's got the op. Great, he's got that smoke to block things off. Oh, oh no. there you go, he's just fed that kill on a silver platter. Oh, and Spec, he's just got nothing to work with. Oh, Spec, playing the one way up a top, and oh, Grape even knows. Grape even, you know, he knows it's a possibility. He doesn't truly see him. Well, Gordon didn't see Infinite, I'll tell you that. No one's really seen Infinite when they get killed by him. He's just that fast. And this was a 3v5, by the way. And it is now a 1v3. This is just the state of affairs right now. A 10th round achieved here for Brazen. On the T side. Oh, and he's already getting hunted. Oh, no. Hello. Sweet dreams, sweet prince. Well, you talked about stinging, I talked about burning. I don't know what's worse than that, but... Aiming we're embracing up next. <laughs> and and electrified, getting shocked. There's, it, this just hurts, alright? This just, just hurts a lot. Yeah. Some of these Let's rounds... Man. I mean, it's just, it's Brazen's comfortability. It's also their individual firepower, like... Infinite just running around corners and just bopping folks. Have you ever used a bop it, by the way? Is that... Is that after your time? Or... Man, we are just really aging me this, uh... This, Sorry! This <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, fully this, exposed just, on this one. It's the only con- it's the only content I'm farming out of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally some success here go. for Davenport. They push into A main, they get a double, and... Wait, hold on. Hello. That's a freebie for Spec, and... Maybe the man advantage continues, but wait. Infinite is still very much alive, and not anymore! Swisher, what a shot! Something to smile about here for Davenport. I'm not gonna say it's over just yet. You have one of the best Mirage players. In recent memory here in NA. But, uh, one swing here from Korn and it, this round's over. Just, yeah, let's give it a bit. And there it is, actually the wall bank comes through from Switcher. And there you go. First round comes up on the board for Davenport. Yeah, no more goose egg anymore. They finally got themselves one. A scrappy round to win, too. Alright, back to double ops. Double sticks. And to answer your question, yes, I know what a bop it is, yes. Okay. It's during my time. Switch it. Pull <laughs> it. Oh my gosh. Switch for a long time. Yeah, there you go. Our producer just said rub it in. That's not a Yeah. <laughs> it's not an official move. That one is though. That one will log itself onto the kill feed. Spec picking up polo. Finally, some light at the end of the tunnel here for Davenport. That's a second. Both ops finding kills. And Korn even adding to the madness. Alright, surely we can convert the 2v5 here. Can Davenport? It's Korn. Inside the site. Oh, great finds a headshot. They have a foothold in this one. And Spec, what a flick down though. Silencing the threat. It's only Rizu. He's made his way in towards Van and... I'm pretty sure he's been spotted, and he doesn't- I don't think he has much more time in this round. <laughs> Laz, I'm gonna be frank with you. He's just burning. <laughs> going for the knife is bug, but the USP is gonna do just fine. Nice no-scope at the end, but it's that important. Something to smile about, something to smile about. Yeah, they're clawing some rounds back. This is now two in a row. They can get a few more that- I mean, Davenport will take it. I mean, this was a 10-0 at one point. But now Brazen know that there's double ops, so I, now I'm, you know, a little bit more curious if they're going to try to do something a little bit more aggressive. Try to abuse these, uh, double big greens. I think that's just what they're about to do. Look at this. Three players in Palace. Oh, and the thing is, oh, Kojimo's out in the open. Nope, 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 you can't do that. Just out in the open throwing utility and get shredded instantly. 
No one's even on the site to remotely contest this play. And even a shot through the smoke from Rizu. It goes from bad to worse. Here for Davenport. And Infinite even picking up the AWP to try and just put this round to rest. And he has had evil do. Switcher coming on this long, long flank. It's not gonna happen. That's gonna be it. You know, considering it's the debut for Davenport, that first map was not bad at all. But this is where you meet the real titans of ECL on Mirage. I think that's uh, what we're looking at here, Laz. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Good experience, though, for Davenport University. I mean, this isn't a map like we said they won't ever play, but nonetheless, they uh, they get the experience. They get the, uh, the reps in, we'll call it. Okay. Swisher does, or did, have enough money for Kojomo, but he will have enough for himself, and there we go. Round number 14, and... Back to the one green we go. There we go. Dojimo's gonna pick up AWP once again. And he's gonna think twice about going out towards middle. Probably for the best. All of Brazen are inside of the apartments. Even the bomb postured in that direction. Kind of screaming for a B player right here. That it is. Molly in towards Van, they start to creep up behind the smoke. At the same time, Spec G's, it's infinite, man. Like, how do you fight off against that? And with Korn being the only player on the B site, they're actually not even committing to this, believe it or not. And Swisher finding Polo towards top middle might make Davenport think twice about this big fight against infinite, but infinite is just winning everything at this rate. 130 ADR. Kojimo's gonna hunt for this. And he's right beneath you! He hits a no-scope! Kojimo, what a shot! He's gonna need some more of that, though, because Brazen are on their way to the A site. They're moving this one fast and furious on top of stairs, getting up close to A main. This could be a power position. At the same time, they're coming out from Palace, but Kojo hits the shot. Can he readjust for the 4K? He can! Finally, a big individual play out of Davenport. Kojo doing what he's told to. Yeah, it's about damn time we see something. The light, or the op getting lit up like that. And now we're down to the last round of the very first half, and Davenport University, desperate, I think is one word we'll use to get this fourth round if they can get it. But now Brazen, they're going to even have that op. They're going to have a MAC-10. Kind of an odd uh, composition we got going on here, Fi. Ooh, looking like the A-pop. I'm just going to put this one straight to the A-site. It's only Pug. Again, they've left this A-site understaffed, and Pug... Oh, he's about to have a util in his hand. Dane Joris just instantly entries him. Swisher at least has a response, sure, but... The site is what matters here, as they get the plant. Even Polo out towards middle. Mac 10 just running through the defense. He's already in a window. He can just flank spawn if he wants to, but probably not needed with Rizu on the op. And this is go looking to be a 12-3 half. Just two more remaining. Maybe Swisher can battle something back. Time beginning to tick, however. Infinite still up in towards Palace with Grape on the site. It's a nasty crossfire. Never said he was going to be easy. They cross in. Grape going to find the headshot. It's just Swisher. And he'll get wall banged out by Infinite. A monster half there from Brazen. We'll toss it off to the halftime break. But they're looking good to take this 2-0. Love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com.
Davenport's debut is in a little bit of hot water. They had a competitive map number one. That's for darn sure. 16-13 on overpass. But it's Mirage and it's, it's a polo IGL. It's infinite having a monster game. That's for darn sure. And now heading over to the T side. Things might not get easier for DU. I'm fine. And Laz, let's take away this pistol round, which could be the final one of the series. Yeah, it really well could be. And there it is. Kojimo actually does get that first opener. And now they're just going to bombard through connector. They have the player advantage, the four on three. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. It's gone. It's swept. It's removed. It's back to a three and three. Bomb going to get planted. It will. I was thinking maybe Infinite might be able to find something, but no. Now Corn. He's had a bit of a difficult game. He's going to get contestment with two players here. Oh, look at that. Look at that five. Oh, Corn. That's a nice first. Maybe spins around for another, and yeah, he does. Now a 1v2 here for Great. He does have a smoke kit and armor, believe it or not. A kill on a corn here could mean a ninja defuse attempt, and he gets the kill. Where's the smoke? Where's the defuse? There's the smoke. And five seconds starts now, and he's not on the oh, mark. No. Oh, no, 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 And it's not coming through. It's a ninja defuse to win the pistol for Brazen. Man, we were, like, getting shocked. We were getting maimed here for Davenport. Now we're getting ninja defused on. It just hurts that much. Oh, no. You hate to see it, Davenport. They almost did everything right. They get, they just run up. They take it as a unit. They win the fights. Corn, he pops off. Oh, and it just comes down to a, a ninja defuse, a smoke in the kit. Oh, you hate to see it as, for DU. As Shakespeare once said, thou hateth to seeth. Damn. Is yes, that, Jacob, that is a direct quote. I was going to ask, so thank you, Jacob, for asking. I was thinking, I'm like, no way he just direct quoted this, but he did. Well, I right, did, folks. believe it or not. Fi Smarts. Changing his name to Fi Smarts, not Fi. Fi Pass anymore. Infinite. Up top, on top of the balcony, and things might get a little worse here for Davenport. The trade comes through, but what about Grape? Still, okay, good trades, but the bomb. Oh, the bomb is in front of stairs. This is tough. Polo inside a jungle, and he hits the headshot. Dink and a body shot onto Korn. They, they're running at him. They are panicked right now. They have to get the bomb and get it out of dodge, and that might be Swisher's job. European import putting in the numbers here. He's, he picks up the bomb and makes a break for the B site. The 1v1 could come through. He does have the armor, does have a smoke and flash. Don't believe... Oh, he did pick up the kit. I was just going to say. He doesn't have a kit yet, but he does. He's fully equipped. He's ready to go for this fight. He's ready for this. It's a one-on-one -on -one duel now. Swisher going to be switching things up into the B-Halls. Dangerous does have that utility I talked about. Oh, even the molly. Oh, no. But Swisher gets around it. Oh. But no! He's going to be denied regardless! Oh, no. That was supposed to be it. But the molly so well placed from Dane. Dane didn't even know. Dane was just like kind of throwing a molly there. Just kind of like for good measure. And it just happened to be where Switcher's position was. Oh man. It was looking so good for it too. And then it just gets ripped from you. That was the only avenue back in the game. It's 14 to 3. There's not many comebacks that have happened from 14 3. At least I haven't got a bomb plant, guys. At least they'll get another buy rolling, but oof, this game just got mythic difficulty. Not referring to Flom's team. A little bit more slow composure, and Korn actually does win that first opener. It takes down Dane. That's with the Mac 10, but he's going to get. Oh, I don't even think wounded is the right word. I mean, he's down to 10. So he's just bleeding internally, really, at this point. Ugh. And Davenport now kind of slowing things back. They're actually going to reset. They'll give up the mid control, regroup this together. But do they go towards B or I think actually they're going to go towards A. Yeah, I mean, I think Davenport actually heard the rotates coming through. They snuck a player in a connector. That's Pug. He can cut all these rotates down. Polo will get the frag back and... Now all of a sudden there are three players on this site. There were once zero. Now the entire team for Brazen is here. They've taken too much time here for Davenport. And the rotates have 
Certainly arrived. Corn can play close up to these smokes, and he's so low he'll go down to one bullet. But Swisher up top, another headshot. Surely he converts this one now. A 1v1 on to Rizu on one HP again. Oh, the noise cue. Not another clutch for this guy. Not on one HP again. He knows. Oh, oh he's no wins it. Another one HP clutch for Rizu. On to Swisher, no less. A repeat of overpass, and this is not just the backbreaker. This is the nail in the coffin. Oh, the stars are not lined up here for Davenport University. They are trying everything possible. Oh, boy. One HP, no kit. Still loses that fight for Davenport, sorry. And now we're at match and series point here for, for Brazen. Oh, the tea leaves are just... They're just not reading right here. Davenport, they Ugh. just cannot catch a break. Admittedly, like, I'll, I'll come at this with a couple of caveats. Infinite has had an incredible game of Mirage. I believe he's... Don't know what the total ADR was, but first half ADR was around 130. For context, it's about, about what about a 1.8 HLTV rating. That is obscene, and this is not Davenport's best map by any means. The debut, it's... I mean, it hasn't been bad here for Davenport. They're playing against one of the better teams in their group, but Brazen are just diffy, and there goes Infinite. Yeah, now Davenport just down in a, a member already. Look at this. I mean, they got an HE for a PC utility. They have nothing left. So now this is going to be a firefight, and they have not been able to bring that heat at all the second half. It's almost like they depleted it for the first. And, oh, okay, there we go. Swisher, the European, he's able to find something here. Yeah, still, I mean, he, this map of Mirage, it, I, I heard some people hyping, up in, hyping him up in chat saying that Mirage is one of his better maps, and that's for darn sure. Hey, Pug, inside a jungle already. Is Rizu a warm welcome? I mean, there are definitely some bright spots in this map for Davenport and the series as a whole. I mean, sure, a lot of these rounds have been very close. And there he goes, Swisher, what another headshot! That guy is... <laughs> this guy is definitely something. Overpass was a bit of a quiet map for him, but but grape. This is something else. Wait a minute. This round is not over. Oh, this round is very much not over, but Pojimo gets probably the winner of a frag. Finding infinite and grape trapped inside of Palace. Are they gonna let him get out? Pojimo doesn't want to let him. And he'll slam that door shut. Davenport University will find another day here at Mirage. Swisher gets more time to show his stuff. Fifteen, fifteen kills were great. Doing pretty good. Like you said, Infinite definitely had a, a is having a good second map. Going to be rifles here again for Davenport. No op, no money. And now it's all about building rounds. Do we see it? It's too early. It's too early. Oh, Polo's going to push down under. He's got the five seven, so a perfect gun for this. Corn is trapped inside of apps. Corn is alone. Oh, corn is gone. Corn, corn is gone. Corn is in a very bad spot right now. But he fights Whoa. his way out. Big spray down on the polo and hunting for this kill. Corn actually can't quite find the shot though. Right next in line. Taking their sweet time about this one. Neither Brazen isn't really overextending either. Two man set up on the site. Infinite. Tucked away in towards Sandwich. Where the main hit is coming from! What a shot, though! Oh, now they can all focus all their attention on A-Main. They've taken down the connector lurk. Infinite inside a Sandwich, but they will get dealt with, and Davenport are geared up to fight for another day. Yeah, unless we see these dingle, deagles start to sing. It's a 2v4, though. I mean, they don't even have kits. They have nothing else. Just the deegs. Gojimo now is starting to hunt as well. A little bit of hesitation. I don't even know if they should be hunting. I mean, it's not worth it. There we go. 
and create by himself. And Davenport, like you said, picking up the fifth. Ten rounds to go to a tie. Oh, that's too shabby. Uh, that's not shabby at all. Also want to bring up the stats. Infinite has had 24 kills in this game so far. Just for the pretty good. full stats pretty update. Good. Getting close to a kill and a half per round, which is you know, just crazy statistics. He's been dominating NA for years and saying he's going to let up now. Yeah, he's sitting at about 135 ADR. So so. That's Swisher actually saying it's he's locked in at 121 ADR. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, he's been having some some just absolutely Big insane ball. rounds so far throughout this game. The headshot machine, man. And trying to deliver, it's only the echoing pistols. So, hey, who's who's to say he can't get a couple more? Wow, that oh, nade hurts. Look at that need. Just farming utility damage per round. Pug <laughs> gets his opportunity. Frag up some ecos. Now they'll be able to make their cross on towards A. Davenport should be able to wrap this one up. It's. I'm not going to say it too early, but it is only infinite with an AK. Oh up close. Rizu. Dangerous game. I think infinite might want to consider saving this gun now. I think that he will, so... Alright, we'll see six on the horizon here for Davenport. I mean, Swisher coming out from the regional areas of Estonian Counter-Strike. Honestly, it was, I mean, uh, this the map of Overpass wasn't like all that, I'm gonna I'm gonna say. It, it, was, it was kind of a weaker map, but this, this map he definitely got to show his stuff. Yeah, so, I, would, I would. I would agree. Just a shame that they couldn't like convert it into you know a huge, huge, huge map win here for Davenport. But you know the signs are there. That's what I'm gonna say. And that's the thing about for Davenport too, as we talked about this. I mean, there is new additions to the roster, so there is mm -hmm. you know a difference in the you know the disadvantage, I guess we'll say for right. it. And but even then, like the first map was still a nail biter map. I mean, that came all the way back. I mean, that was a what sixteen thirteen. Mm hmm. Davenport winning the first half, clawing their way back in. Yeah, it's not bad. Also, just worth <laughs> mentioning that all these players were mostly uh, on break as well. Swisher has only arrived in the U.S. only two weeks ago, so I would assume maybe not a crazy amount of time to practice. So, I mean, the early signs are definitely there for the Davenport team. And officials are the way you get practice. And to be honest, there are... Raisin is a pretty big fish to to start off here. And ho oh, ho, going fishing. Spec grabs a big one. What a shot. I mean, dude, it's always Spec and Swisher. But this round is far from over. Rizzy will quickly clap back on a corn. Yeah, the ball still needs to make its way somewhere. But they got the double players in connector now. And you do have Dangerous inside a palace, and then you have grape in the back of a ct spawn so i mean they're they've left this a site but that element of surprise here for dean this could be massive big smoke though locking him out a molly palace the site was a little too quiet for davenport they are quite suspicious a lot of the areas on the map the question is when dane is going to make his move an infinite will and he falls actually to pug Rizu, though, hits the shot, but Swisher's been watching Palace the entire time, and Davenport open up. All right, we're going to see seven. When do we start believing, lads? Double digits. We get to double digits, that's when we can start believing. That's the threshold. That's the threshold. That's Laz's threshold right now. All right, that's your trademark threshold. Thank you. No one else can take the number 10, guys. What are you, you going to say? What would you say is the threshold? Mm. Are you believing now? I'm always believing, Laz. You oh. know me. Oh no. no. I was worried you were gonna say that. You, you don't. You don't. You don't know me. You, yeah. Sorry. Well, but I do know, Fi. You do. Is that there is a, a timeout that's gonna be called from Davenport. Oh. oh. That's the one thing I know. Okay. But the thing is, is uh, 
again, this is where we saw this actually before an overpass. They go for that timeout. Again, they're going to go against, you know, one off. It should be a save here from, from Brazen. But they can't be careless. We saw before. Remember, what was that? Dane that was able to get a triple with the Deagle? Yeah. Almost brought that down to, what was that, a 2v1 or a 1v1? Almost winning the round. Right. So we have to make sure the Davenport keep their foot on that gas. They cannot let anything slip now. One round and it's over. Yep. To be honest, heartbreaking round for... I mean, it was Davenport on that map of Overpass. To be honest, that definitely... I feel like they could have won that map of Overpass. I'll just harken back to that. Yeah, they definitely could have. See if... Raisin can end the game here. It's only an op for Rizu. The B creep up, or it's only grape. Let's see what Rizu can do with this, though. Making his way towards the top end. And oh, Swisher turns away, but lucky that he doesn't go down for that. Rizu still gets to hold the angles. In the meantime, though, they try to jump onto the B side, and Danger is just instantly entried on. And Rizu trying to find a way to save his op, and. He's gonna take the ladder room approach. He's gonna be out of there. All right, so you say 10 for your believing threshold. I'll say, I'll say nine. I'll say nine. This next gun round, definitely. And we're seeing Davenport hit double digits. That's the, that would be the crazy part. I'm down 15 to three. I'm gonna play a 10-0. And that's the exciting thing about Davenport, like we said. They always seem to have these comeback moments and bring things a lot closer. I mean, even Overpass, we saw that earlier in this best of three. They were down a big number, brought things back. Didn't win it, but nonetheless, pretty good round. They, take the, they, did, they just took the gun out of Grave's hands, too. Yeah, just, just great. Yeah, it was taken away, but the off still in play here, so Rosa mm. does still have that. Do we see double offs? No. No, thank you. It's possible. I've seen Dane pick it up in Grape. Same, so... I don't Same. think they would be uncomfortable with it. Single off set up to work with. This round... This is the round that I start believing here, Laz. Five believes. But it's gonna come down to Rizu and... Oh, he jumps into Pals and threads a needle. Onto Spec. Through those pillars. Swisher out towards top middle, though, and he has actually two players pinned in towards the underpass, but he doesn't see the head, does not recognize where the shots are coming from. Infinite's going to pick up, and we might be seeing the end of this game here in the 3v5. Rizu, easy shot on the corn, and we're looking at the end of the road here for Davenport in their debut series in ECL. Solid map one, I'll say it again. But Mirage is a different beast. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Have I spoke too soon? Maybe not. It's Kojo for a 1v3. This would be a highlight to really cap off your debut, that's for sure. This would be the highlight. He's got the bomb, he's down to 1v3. A tough position, and there you have it. Brazen gonna be able to take this thing with a 2-0. And Davenport, unfortunately, not able to get their first official win in the ECL. But this is just the beginning of the season. And you know what? All despite of Mirage, I like what I saw. Yeah, I mean, even then, uh, uh, Mirage, okay, wasn't a great map for the entire team as a whole. But Swisher looked amazing. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. he, he came close to topping the server alongside Infinite. You know, 25 kills in a in a losing effort and a 